Hello again friends and fellow artists, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you an easy way, or the way, to do a very simple mountain that you can put in almost any painting. Here I already have set up just a, a stormy kind of sky that I just took some uh, Prussian blue and black, went in on top of the liquid white with the blue first, went all over the place, then I threw in some black, some dark spots, put a little bit of white in there, and blended it all together, kind of create this stormy atmosphere that we have today. Now the only tools that we're going to be using today is just going to be your palette knife and a one inch brush or a two inch brush, whichever one you decide that you're more comfortable with and depending on the size of the mountain. And uh, we're going to get zoomed in here on the painting as close as I can get it so you can see what I'm doing and we're going to get started right now. All right, we're all zoomed in now. And the colors that we're going to be using is going to be your Prussian blue and a black. Just mix you up a little bit of that. Pull it out nice and long and flat like this. And then we're just going to go right up here on the canvas and you decide how you want the top of your mountain to look. That's the first thing. You want to hold your knife kind of firm while you're doing just the basic shape of the mountain because you're going to pull a lot of that paint off the canvas. So we'll, we'll start really high up today. Just kind of come along down. Make some nice drop offs on your mountain. And then come on up to this side here. Maybe we got it coming down like this. And all that extra paint, just pull it. Pull it across the canvas. Get as much of it off as you can. And I'm going to kind of clean this side up over here a little bit more and make our mountain kind of run this way. Like that. And you're probably thinking that looks just like a big old gigantic blob of mess up there. But when you go in, you know, I'm going to add just a little bit more over here. Like that. All right, next, I decided I'm gonna grab the two inch brush. This mountain's kinda big, bigger than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna take the two inch brush. Now, you do the same thing with the one inch brush, just smaller. And you're just going to come up here to your mountain. You're going to grab that paint and just kind of start deciding where you want these angles to go. And you're going to pull in the direction that you want it to go. So we want these angles coming down. Same thing on this side. Just grab the angles, pull them out the way you want them to go like that. So maybe this one over here comes out here in front. So we'll pull our angles out this way. Make another little peak over here. And we got a Side where we want these ones to go. And this mountain is going to come all the way down. Right there. Now, just from pulling that paint, you can kind of see what you created, where you need your highlights, where you need the shadow. I'm just going to pull this out straight across here like that. Pull it on off the 
canvas if you want to. Just pull that out, pull that sucker out on out. Like that. Now, you're going to take that brush. Now, keeping with the angles, you're going to tap the very bottom of it. Staying with your angles. And as you get down into your liquid white, it starts to, the color will start to diffuse down a little bit. And right here where these two mountains meet, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher, create some mist right in front of these two. Just like that. Create some fog and some mist coming right up here. Like that, see? Then we'll go back over here to this mountain. Diffuse the bottom of this one. Stay with the angles. And then we can just go right back in here. Without the bottom of this mist. Grab the mist. Lift back up with the angles of the mountain. Except for this right here in the front, because we want it kind of standing up here. We're basically just softening this up, kind of blending it together with the mountain a little bit better. Now, after you get done with that, go ahead, put that two inch brush down. Going back to the palette knife, and we're going to go straight into a line of titanium white here. We're going to cut across like normal. We're going to pull it out a little flatter. And then, I hope you guys can see this, but you just angle your knife, place it in at an angle, cut down and pull towards you at the same time. You get this little roll. You see that roll? Now, you're not going to have a firm grip on this knife this time. You're just going to hold it with your thumb and your index finger really, really gently. Enough to where you can, you know, aim where you want it to go and you're barely, barely going to touch this. If you get too much on there that you don't want, pull some of it off. But you just want it to kind of break, and slide straight on down here. yourself a little bit more detail to work with. Go ahead and cut across again and the side of this mountain is going to have some. Keep your highlight going with the way that the mountain is going. So you might have to turn it. Now grab some of that blue. Grab you some blue. Throw it into that same titanium white. Pull it out, mix it up. And you're gonna get you a light, really light blue. Go ahead and pull across. Get that little paint roll. And then we're just going to slide straight on down this mountain. Adding in some here on this side. Pulling that color. Let the paint break. Following your angles. All that fun stuff. Some over here, pull it on down to this next where this white is. Make sure you get enough right here on your peak, P 
peak of your mountain. Then just that contrast from dark, from dark paint to light paint, creates you a nice little ridge right there. Grab you a little bit more dark, come right in here, pull it down. Remember, no pressure. No pressure right here when you're doing this. Go ahead back here. Pull out a little bit of color here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your basics to just create a mountain out in the distance that you can use and you can put some trees right along in front of it and just make your painting look nice and it's very simple. I hope this helped you out a little bit if you were kind of confused on how to go about creating the mountain using oil paints. Um, like I said, with a little bit of practice anybody can do it. So again, hope you learned something and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how to paint something else. And I will try my best to get that out. I'm trying to release more videos for you guys, especially with the painting uh, area. So, uh, I'll zoom out so you guys can see what your mountain looks like. And I'll have some final closing comments. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this How to Paint a Mountain in Oil Paints. Very simple, very easy to do. Step-by-step -step video. Hopefully I will have some more. If you have anything you want me to paint, please leave it in the comments below. I'll try my best figure out an easy, simple way to put it into a video tutorial, put it on YouTube for you guys and try not to make it super long. This was painted rather fast, I, you know, to, I'd like to add a little bit more detail and stuff in, but remember at home, when you're painting, take all the time that you need to. I'm just trying not to bore you guys to death with a super long video. I'm just trying to get the information in so you guys can take it, use it, make you a pretty mountain of your own, add some different colors in there, you know, you don't always have to use the same colors, mix it up, make a pink mountain if you want to, but in the end, it's your mountain, make it the way that you like it, and again, I hope you enjoyed it, thanks for all the support guys, liking, favoriting, commenting, sharing, all that stuff that helps my channel grow, it's been a long, fun journey here on YouTube, coming up on my two year mark, it's been a blast, again, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next video, Happy drawing, happy painting, peace mode out.